What's good, gamers and folks? Terrence the Gamer here with my number number two second <laughs> podcast. As you said, I got my man's Afro Kinzu. I got my main man, my ace, the man directly responsible for all my good life in Kuwait. D Thomas <laughs> from NC, you know what I'm saying? So What's we, up? So we're going to talk gaming, gaming podcast. Once again, since my dad's podcast did so well, I made it to 50. Yay. You know, I lost my subscriber, though. Weird. Okay, screw you, whoever you are. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go from there. We're going to talk gaming. And first thing we're going to talk about is. What have we been playing this week? Let's start off with you, D. Thomas. What have you been playing this week, man? This week, man, I've been gaming on uh, Division 2. I've been rocking out on some, um, what else? Just played Days Gone as well as, I didn't play no Apex Legends this week. <laughs> but we'll talk about that you later. You didn't play no Apex Legends? Nah, but Division 2, Days Gone, and that's that's pretty much all I've been rocking this Oh, Mortal Kombat 11. Okay, there we go. All right, what about you, Afro? I'm playing Sekiro still. <laughs> Sekiro, Sekiro. I forgot about that. I'm still stuck, still stuck on Lady Butterfly. I forgot still, about it. Still stuck on Lady Butterfly. I ain't, I ain't gonna make it past her. Nah. So I've been playing Sekiro, I've been playing Mortal Kombat 11, Days Gone, World War Z, and I played some Siege. I had to step back on my Siege game. I have some gameplay on that on my page on Facebook. Oh but, yeah, woo, great game. Siege is great game. Good game. Siege, <laughs> Siege is great. Great for myself. I've been playing. Finish up Anthem, right? Okay, I just recently bought Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Been playing that. Mortal Kombat 11 just came out. Been playing that also. You know, just we, we was playing before we started the podcast. You know, we all serving each other, trying to learn the ropes and stuff like that. <laughs> Serve and get served. You know what I'm saying? Right, so the right. game is fun. The game is great. A little bit slower than previous Mortal Kombat's, but I ain't got no issue with that. You know what I'm saying? You got to adjust your tactics when you got new fighting games, new mechanics, new skill set, you know, so. Well, see, the reason why it, it, the reason why it's so slow is because they wanted to emphasize on the ground game. Because, you know, back when, I guess, Mortal Kombat X, you know, there, there was some ground, like some groundwork and all that, and it was, but it was really fast paced, and, you know, you could be on there and just be spamming the beams and oh, all that. Or injustice so too. And just, and, <laughs> and ju- injustice too. We ain't gonna talk about Starfire. But, oh, God. <laughs> but, but, so, so do you feel that it's slower? It, it is kind of slow because, you know, it's not even just slow in comment lines, it's slow in input, too, because you'll, you'll put as in As far as the latency when you play? Yeah, you'll put in an input and your character will just be like, uh-uh. And then oh. it's completely silent. It's like, yo, I hit the input. Why, why, why do you stop? And it's just like, you didn't hit the input fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems to me, like, for me, I know the, the PlayStation 5, 5, PlayStation 4 controller is, you know, it's pressure sensitive. So, you know, if you don't push it all the way down, from what I've been playing, it seems like the, the hits don't register. Also, one thing I also noticed that when we was playing with Kong Law, when I'm trying to do combos, if you block my combo, it's not going to complete the combo. Sometimes it'll stop. So that kind of messes me up too a little bit. That depends if you're doing a skill or an extender. If you do an extender, yeah, it'll stop. I don't know what I was doing. I'm just pressing buttons. Cause you know, I'm just, you know. so, when it comes, <laughs> so when it comes to Mortal Kombat, you say you just jump primarily into combat. You've just been fighting. You haven't really played the story. You haven't did the cryptic or anything like that. Nope. I saw online, and you haven't done the story either. I have not done the story. I saw online on. that they were talking about on YouTube that they're complaining about, I guess, the microtransactions that's in the game. As far as when you go to the crypt, there when is, you go to the island. There is some microtransactions in the game that are that. There's microtransactions in every game that comes out. Right. People need to kind of get over that factor. It's, these companies need to make more money, of course. Business. But they so. tweeted out. I, I think they got an end boon, and they was like, okay, we're going to rebalance it. And we're going to make it less grimy. Because it said it's like some Redditor had posted, it's either going to take you, like, it would cost you $6,000 if you bought everything. Or it's going to take you, like, 3,000 hours of playtime to unlock all that stuff. Well, some people, well, some people would do 3,000 hours yeah, of playtime. Yeah. Wow, we work full-time jobs. We ain't got that kind of time. <laughs> yeah, you know there's, what some people, yeah, there's some people still playing. People have been playing Dragon Ball Fighters since the beginning of the game came out. And it's still going. I've seen some people that had, like, 5,000 win and had like 10,000 games with Dragon Fighters. Now, that all together, that's probably they least racking a thousand, two thousand. That's in that game. crazy. It's, it's a fighting game. <laughs> you know, same, 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 same thing with For Honor. You gotta go from level one to level 60. And how many years does it take you to do that? I'm, I, I'll am i just hit level five with Aramusha. I ain't gonna make it level six no time soon. But if you stay with the same you, started. You, stay you stay with the same, same character, character, you can make it. But okay. you know, I like to diversify my game. Right, right, right. I like to stick with a lot of characters. Where's my game? 
Look, let me get mad because you got served up with the combo. I ain't no combo what guy, more combo. combo. <laughs> you know what I'm I saying? Say, what? <laughs> he, was served, he was getting served up. It's okay, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? So, what you guys think you guys think about Days Gone? I haven't played it yet. What do you guys think so far? I know it just came out. How is it? Okay, so Days Gone has a lot of bugs. We're going to start Does right it? there. Hell to the yes. It has a lot of bugs. <laughs> I haven't experienced any bugs yet from what I've played. I mean, graphically, it looks good. The story seems to be engaging. The characters. Uh, the characters are cool. I'm, I'm, you know, I want to see what happens with his wife and everything. But from what I've experienced, because there was a, a patch. It was like a 15 gig yeah, patch or something like patch. that. Really? So I haven't experienced too many bugs as of yet, but I'm still in the beginning of the game. Yeah, there is a crap ton of bugs. Like, the bugs, they're, they're not even, they're not like game breaking, but they're just freaking hilarious to me. Well, there is one that is game breaking. But, like, there was one time I was sneaking up behind a person I was doing this camp, and I break the chick's neck and she's still standing there. And I'm like, and they're just like, Hey, he's right there. I'm like, Yo, is this bitch still alive? I'm like, should I worry about her? And then she's on the ground. I'm like, okay, so, all right. So I started shooting out other people. Then there was another bug where I went into a baseball bat, and that Jake said it was an AK-47. Hmm. And I was just like, so is this an AK-47 or a bat? So I pick up the bat, pick up the bat, and it was a bat. I was like, and then it changed the icon to being a bat. And I was just like. And this is, and this is after the patch? I don't know when the patch. Uh, <laughs> when did the patch just hit or? Well, but yeah, before I could play it, I had I downloaded that patch. It was like fifteen gigs, I think. Yeah, you might download it. Yeah, I might download it. Download it. Yeah, download download download. But yeah, they 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 had it probably a bit worse. But they have a few bugs in there. But I mean, I you cannot. There is it's almost impossible for a game to come out and not to have bugs. It's impossible. Yeah, it's gonna. It's not gonna be. No one game is gonna be perfect, regardless. Yeah, if, 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 I mean, just think whenever Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven drops. Oh, it's gonna, it's sure it's gonna be a bug in that. Oh, it's gonna be a bug in it, but nobody gonna give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> nobody yeah, gonna give a fuck. But way. you know what? Speaking of Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, that might be, that might be PS five next Xbox territory maybe. Uh, they have on both. They probably have on both. If anything, they have. We on will right. see what happens in you. Because because Grand Theft Auto five came out on both. Some yeah. of the early Call of Duty games came out on PS three, Xbox three sixty, and that's my, my neighbors. <laughs> badass, badass kids. Excuse my language. Badass kids next door. But um, yeah, I mean, I mean, they usually towards the end of the cycle, it'll probably on both systems. But like I said, we will, depending on what T wants to do, we will be doing a reaction to E three because it needs to be done. I know you don't like them, but it like, needs like what? to be done. Oh, yeah, like hey. to watch them, like to watch E three. Yeah. Like, like, don't, like, don't watch it live, we'll watch it here where we're at. Toasty! But we'll do it and see, see how it goes now. We'll do do reaction video with E3 and stuff like that. So uh, Because I, they said, they said themselves that they are going to announce something about... About what? About, about Cyberpunk 2077 at E3 this year. But yeah. if it drops this year, if it drops this year, there's no that game's going to be game of the year. There's nothing else going to be able to touch it. No. Cause it's, I mean, it's cause everybody gonna be like, oh wait, there's gonna be no, unless Ghost of, Ghost of Shishima comes out or that Stranding, that Stranding ain't gonna come out till next year. I don't uh, know yeah. Ghost of Tsushima is probably yeah. gonna come out beginning of next year. Yeah, cause the Sony ain't they not, they're not gonna be at E3 this year. This yeah, year. so they ain't got yeah they ain't. But um, hold on. Okay, we're still going. Technical okay. difficulties, alright. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's fine. I, I'm excited for Cyberpunk. I'm not gonna get Cyberpunk on my console. I'm getting it on my PC. Oh, that's, that, a that's, down. <laughs> that's a given. That's a given. And I'm like, I'm getting that on my on my PC. That I can't get it on anything else. Not this trash, but I'm gonna be on my desktop at home. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> I mean, let's not talk about trash laptops, okay? Cause I just had to buy this one downtown, and my other one sitting over there. You know what I'm saying? I had to pick this one up for cheap, you know. But uh, all right, so the uh, next topic is gonna be. Uh, Next topic is, what games have you played throughout your wonderful lifetimes out there that makes you feel, that has an emotional impact? I mean, by emotion, I mean something that makes you kind of, not angry, but more of a saddened. What games have you played that has more, gave you emotional impact? Hmm. So what you have, what you, what you got? See, <laughs> for me, emotional impact on games have always been, it's, it's not just a game, it's a series. It's always been Metal Gear Solid. Okay, yeah, well, okay, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid, <laughs> Metal Gear, Snake Eater was my favorite one, Metal Gear Solid 3, that's yeah, my favorite Metal Gear, Gear you know? You find out that, you know, you fight boss at the end, and you kill her, 
And then you find out she was doing all this to be for the United States, giving up her kid, doing all these things and everything like that just to be a great patriot Correct. in the United States. And you're just like, okay. And you just feel like crap after you just shot her in the head with a um, yeah, she, deliberate. She went to her death knowing <laughs> that she bet- she betrayed her. She Everything was planned. She she knew she was going to be killed by her own homes. Basically son. Her son, prodigy, <laughs> apprentice, whatever you want to call it. She knew at the end of the game. It was coming, but she carried her mission out anyway. You know, she was a soldier, mission of a soldier. You know, me and Quint served in the military, so we know how that goes. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Be a soldier, complete your mission. You know what I'm saying? What about you, Quint? What game for you? <sighs> I, it's, it's a toss up between two games. I'm, I want to say The Last of Us. Right. I want to yeah, say The Last yeah, of yeah. Us and Titanfall 2. Uh-huh. Now, I say Titanfall 2 because that story that Jack Cooper had with, the, with, with uh, BT. BT that was a that was a good connection that they had, and the game was so fire to me. That campaign was so fire, so slept on for a shooter that you know I I even myself I tweeted EA and respond like kudos, hats off. This game is fire. I love the story, and they responded back. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I remember, I remember it, it was overshadowed yeah. by uh, Infinite Warfare and Battlefield One. So it was a poor choice on EA to release it at the time that it did. But that story was fire. And we all know The Last of Us. You know, Joel and Ellie, we all know yeah. how that story oh, went yeah, down. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's very part touching as well. So Last of Us Part 2 about to be touching. Oh, man. That's going to be That's going to be that's crazy. That's going to be crazy. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Everybody might be crying at the beginning because supposedly Joel is old. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Well, she's older. Well, she's older. You see no, some no, of the trailers? Yeah, but Joel is old. Like, he's like about to die. Oh, okay. He's about to die. I wonder how much time passed in between. Oh, about ten, I think about 10 years had to be. Probably because, because you know, she's now she's. I always figured. Um, she might be about 20. Was it Ellie? Ellie, Ellie, yeah. Ellie? Yeah. I always feel like Ellie to be, like, you know, on both sides of the window. Because she's now, she's like, she's less. Bye, less. She's lesbian. She's pure lesbian. Less, yeah, pure she's lesbian. Pure, pure, so she, you know, and, you know, Joel's still <laughs> trying, to protect, trying to protect her. So he like every time she goes out doing something, he's like, "Nah, you gotta stop," because she doesn't understand. I don't think she understands what power she has. Mm-hmm. Not like you could, not like not like superpower, but right. like, what power the power to cure the virus or that, be immune that, to, to be, be immune, immune to yeah, yeah be yeah. immune to make it have a cure. And like if anybody wants to find that out, like she's like basically one hundred percent dead. There's yeah. there's nothing past that. Like, yeah. So basically, he's keeping the world. He's condemning the world to keep her alive. If you play yeah. the game, you know at the end he chose to save her life versus killing her, and the world won't heal until you know she dies. The world lives. Yeah, the world you know lives. what I'm saying. But as long as she lives, we got we got plants and zombies with plants come out of their heads. You know what I'm saying? Which is based on the real thing, actually. You know. Yeah. The- the ants, you know what I'm saying? Ants, they, the, the pollen puts, that's the yeah, ants and like, takes them more parasites. Yeah, yeah. So we said, he said better get solid. I said Titanfall 2 and, 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 and The Last of Us. What about yourself? For me, it is one game that, I'm, I'm also with Metal Gear because I'm a huge Metal Gear fan. Right, I'm also right. on that. But for me, the one game that really has emotional impact, especially at the end of it, especially towards the end of it, was Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh. Didn't play the end. You didn't play it? Then play to the end, but I, what? Yeah, when it comes to open world games, like, I, it was, was just like it was too big for you. Nah, it's just when it comes to open world games, I'm just like ah. Okay, but see the thing about the, the thing about Horizon was it kept me engaged from start to finish because it's a brand new IP, a brand new world. So I want to know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Find out who Aloy is and yeah, the, the, the supercomputer. I like the, the, the guy of Mother Computer. You yeah. know, it reminds me of guy from Captain Planet. You know what I'm saying? Go old planet. You know, we can go over it. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, find out the end. Earth. Yeah, no. <laughs> Heart, you know. <laughs> you know, but the answer to find out about, you know, how she went to go visit her mother, her, well, the person she was cloned from. If you play the game, she was there with her and she didn't know her, but she felt such a strong connection to her. You know, it kind of, Hits at home, you know, emotional yep. impact, that kind of stuff. So it really it engaged me all the way through from start to finish. I have to have one more game. After that. <laughs> I, already know, I think I already know what you're One more about. game. Splinter Cell Conviction. Yeah, that's good. Splinter Cell Conviction. Yeah. When Sam Fisher found out he did all that stuff. Well, no, when Sam Fisher found out that Lambert did all that stuff to protect him and his daughter and he still died. Correct. And he said that yeah. the one worst thing he had to do was lie to his best friend. I was just like. He was in tears. <laughs> I was just like, like oh, no, it's Sam. Yo, I can feel, I can, you can, feel I can understand feeling? why he was mad because he was flipping tables, yeah. was pushing, kicking stuff, and uh, I forgot her name. Was telling like to calm down, and then uh, right when you're, um, uh, 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 
But right when you're walking out of the, of the corridor of the office, any soldier that popped up in front of that man's sight got an execution icon. All you had to do was hit block. <laughs> <laughs> it was just pew, pew. I was just like, yo, that was, he is bad. <laughs> but yeah, so that too. That was a bad one. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's there's a lot of games out there, old and new, yeah. newer games that, you know, get emotional impact. So many games come out. You know, these games is basically storytelling. You know, they tell a story. It's a whole world. It keeps you engaged. It kind of reminds me of, okay, another perfect example of the TV show Martin. Martin! You know what I'm saying? Everybody knows it's Martin Long for these characters, mm-hmm. but you believe Shanae Nae, Shanae Nae, yeah, you know, yeah, old yeah. Otis is old Otis, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You believe in those characters. You don't, when you see those characters, you don't see Martin. You see the characters, Dragonfly Jones, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, it kind of, that's, it kind of pulls right. you, kind of pulls you in, you know what I'm saying? It's very, very emotional impact, it's very, it's, it's bubbly, it's live, all right? Next thing we got is, um, no, lot of son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I just found out another game coming out next month. <laughs> we'll talk about that one. In the <laughs> okay, well, we can talk about that now. Okay, what games are coming out that for, okay. the, for the rest of the year that you guys want? You guys excited about? You guys okay? We know we've had so many games come out already this year. You know, we talked about the last podcast. Recently, what just came out? Mortal Kombat, Days Gone, World War Z. All those games just came out within right. the past few weeks. We still got. A little over half a year to go, 2019. So, what games for the rest of the year you guys Man, looking forward to? I'm looking. That's coming out this year, right? This year. Ooh, I'm looking forward to Rage too, man. I'm, I'm, I'm look, like, like my hype was so high for Anthem, and I hope that a year from now Anthem can be uh, better than what it has been, been. You know, but I enjoy it for what it is. But I'm looking forward to playing Rage too. I don't even know what else is dropping this year. Me either. I don't even know. <laughs> I, 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 I'm like the game guru when it comes to the But um, I played Rage 1 on my PS3, you know what I'm saying? It was nothing really engaging about it. it was just pretty, the story was See, not really there for me. The thing is, about Rage 1, when Rage 2 comes out, comes out, you might as well just throw Rage 1 out of the window. Wonder, yeah. Because Rage 2 is completely made with, it, it's made, it, they got assistance from the people that made Bulletstorm. Oh. Bulletstorm was a, Hell of a fun game. It was. Yeah, I, I got it. I got it. Yeah. It yeah. was a hell it was of a fun great. Game. Great. So they yeah. took that same. That's why I say you got the like Rage One. Yeah, it had that post-apocalyptic and all that stuff, and that's basically all the game was. Of course, they had the little um, that little clown dude. I've got this thing where you go to the little cir- uh, circuit thing. You you go um circus thing. You're killing all the things to get points. Basically, that's like imagine it like that. That that goofy a little bit of that goofy aspect. Just imagine it's just all in Rage Two. Like they got like the, it's highly the, the colors it's, it's colorful, very colorful. It's, it's more it's, it's more arcadey kind of pop, arcadey and it pops out correct it's just like um Far Cry uh uh, uh no um, <laughs> <laughs> no no um, <laughs> Far, Far, Far Cry uh blood Far, something blood dragon blood dragon I got it on PS4, Far Cry yeah. blood dragon was eighty it was eighty it was, was eighty reborn yeah fantastic when you reload the shot. Yeah, That's yeah. Malona? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much the eighties. Pretty much the eighties reborn. You know, Terminator. I mean, think about the Terminator and all those yeah. old movies when you play Far Cry Three Blood Draft. I got it on PS Three. Yeah, so yeah. Rage, Rage One, just throw that out the window. Rage Two, I, I, I consider that just a brand new game because that like, they they just changed the whole. They did. They did. All the mechanics. So does it remind you of Doom a little bit? No, <laughs> so Doom is about hell. No, I'm talking about no, 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 the mechanics, the gunplay, how it's fast. This one seems faster than Doom. Yeah, no, uh, Doom no, Doom is like on it. Doom is on a whole other level when it well, comes you to. Know, I mean, but the, the race scene more. It's gonna be more explosive. Basically. It's, gonna it's gonna be, be open world. It's a little bit more outside. Yeah, it's so outside, so, a little bit more. Doom, so. Doom Eternal is gonna be good too. Oh yeah, coming out this year, yeah. supposedly. But um, what I just read right now what's coming out. I don't know if any of y'all like. Horror game fans or anything like that, or right. Layer of Fear Two is getting released next month on the twenty eighth. I don't know that. How was the first one? I never, Layers I, of Fear, the first one was kind of jump scares. La- shit. Layers of Fear, <laughs> Layer of Fear is basically the first one was about a artist, um, who was who was so into his art and everything uh-huh. that uh, his house got burnt and his wife. Got burnt too, and she was and she basically she got burnt all over her body. Right, and he basically disowned her because she was ugly, oh, wow. and she died. Yeah. So that came back to haunt him. Right, and his wife. So that game was scary because you was walking down the corner, you see his wife there. She just 
And then she just goes to the side. I was just like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit pause. I was like, nope. <laughs> but it's, it's a great game. Uh, Layer of Fear 2, the one thing that I'm pretty sure is going to bring a lot of people into it is that the, the voice, the, the commentator or the voice, the, narrator, the, 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 narrator, narrator, the, game? the narrator of the game or something, mm-hmm. is the guy who played this Candyman. So you know, yeah. So you know, I've been afraid of him. I've been afraid of him since I was a kid. Angry black ghost. Yeah. All I need to know, got a hook with some honey and some bees. Yeah, that's all I need to know. I'm good. But um, <laughs> over that, that's May's list. May list. Next month's list is going to be Rage Two, Layers of Fear Two. I don't know what else is coming out because a lot of developers just be dropping shit just at random time. Yeah, pretty much summertime ain't nothing major going to be hitting. You, know, you got the Crash Bandic- Bandicoot coming. Oh, yeah. Them character crash racing. <laughs> 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 crash team racing, yeah, I played that, you know. But uh, that, you know, there's, up. there's one game I'm really excited for to come out in June, and that's Judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call, good call. I'm really excited for it because yeah. I love Yakuza series. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yo, playing? If I see Kazuma in um, and Judgment, just see him walking the street, I'll be like, oh, do I really want to start a fight with this dude right now? Do I want to fight, start with this dude? That fight, though. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be he, pretty he good. Does, he does a really good job on his games because he, everybody sees it as just a beat him up. But if you go past all that, there's so much you can do in the game. Go fishing. You can go yeah, go, singing, go, singing, 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 serving drinks and all this stuff. So yeah, those side like, activities. Like, yeah. like, that's the one thing I was like, I liked about um, Fist of the North Star is seeing... Ken Shiro's character completely out of place. Like, I was just like, Ken Shiro in the bar, and he's over here just mixing his drinks real fast, putting martial arts into it, and then you see him just right. I'm like, why are you starting to drink so high? Don't you <laughs> pick that up yet? <laughs> it's in the PlayStation right now, I ain't even played it yet. <laughs> what can you say? No, I, can say, I can say you will not be disappointed in the game. The yeah. game is fantastic. The city that they put, see, the thing is, the thing that I have to say about the developer who makes like Kenshiro, uh, Kenshiro, or I mean, Fist of the North Star, Yakuza, and Judgment, he can give you the smallest city and make that jank feel like it's big. Of course, because you know, most games neglect their you show the open world, yes, but how many games do you actually go inside buildings? Unless, yeah, it's, right. part of, unless it's part of the stage. Right, right. You, you know what I'm saying? So you can really walk in the building and do stuff like that. You know, like Yakuza 6 Sun of Life. Go inside, play the arcade, chat with girls. Yeah, chat with I, 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 I did a lot of that, chat with girls. You know, hey, baby, you know what I'm saying? What's up with you? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, we can, you know, we can, you can walk outside, you get in the fight. You walk outside, you come, you swinging on everybody. You know what I'm saying? But I think for me, the game, Judgment, and the other game we're looking forward to is, for me, Remnant. Who? Remnant is that, uh, is that, that Dark, Dark Souls shooter game? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The one you yeah. said in the link. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't oh. think that's coming out this year. It come out August. Oh. It might get delayed. That's I hope, that two player co op. Yeah, I right? hope not. Cause it's, it's got my interest. I'm not a big. Yeah, I mean, it looks it's, good. Yeah, it's interesting. It's got my interest too. But you gotta remember, Borderlands comes out this year. Yeah, Borderlands three coming Borderlands out. 3. Yeah. We don't know what's happening with Destiny three, but we're just gonna leave that in the back burner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say that. I'll say that'll be next gen, man. And, Destiny three and Shenmue three. I know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I played one and two. I got, I, I got them here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so three's everybody, coming. Everybody is highly yeah. waiting for it because they've been waiting for the end of that story and they got the same director who made that. So if, if he just, he doesn't, like, I, like he what he was saying way back when is that he doesn't want to step too far into the new era. He wants to keep some of the old school. Because it's based in the 80s. Yeah. The game, so, and yeah. And I was just like, yeah, dude, dude, keep keep that. That's like the little little side games that you had, to, the, the work, when you had to work to move the forklift. Yeah. And how yeah. hard they should yeah. Keep that. Because that, that's what made the game hard. But Correct. that game was ahead of its time at that time. Like Correct. back in 99, yeah. 2000, yeah. Quick time events and stuff like that. Quick time yeah. events, yeah. four day and night cycle, mm-hmm. playing arcade games. It kind of reminds me of the Yakuza, like how you get to do all that you stuff. You play the Harrier and the, uh, <laughs> the motorbike game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Call. yeah, yeah. It was dope, though. It was dope. <laughs> games yeah. within games, you know what I'm saying? You can have fun some old school yeah. stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it's still got quite a few games to go to come out this year. But uh, yeah, it's, 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 gaming never ends. It's eternal. It's purity. It's always something new coming out. All right, next next thing we got is uh, okay. We know a lot of franchises over the years have been gone. Some franchises thrive. I want to play itself back. Yeah, you got. <laughs> you want to split itself back? Which franchise? Well, we already know Afro said he wants to split the main franchise. He want to come back and split himself. You know, he was Sam Fisher did make a cameo appearance in Ghost Recon Wildlands. So maybe the split cell is coming. I think they've said it. In the they they're yeah. working on something. It's, they're working on something that's coming. You know, what I'm saying for me, I got quite a few games that. I think that should be coming out re- resurrected. First gameplay for me is uh, 
Legacy of Kane series. I'm a huge Bro, okay, fan yo, when of they were Legacy working, of Kane. When they were working on oh, yeah. Legacy of Kane, um, Blood Moon or something Blood, like Blood that. Blood Moon 2? Blood Moon 2 or something like that. Yeah. And they had like the gameplay of it. was like the little beta. And I was like, yo, that's looking pretty soft. Then they were just like, ah, no. And then now they just stopped. I was cool. like, yeah, all the, I, don't, I, don't, I think a few years ago they had the NOS Golf, which was like an online game. That game, it was a good concept game. It was a good concept, but they didn't deliver it well. Correct. I was like, y'all should have just, y'all need to stay with your single player games. And I forgot another game that's coming out also that might be coming out this year. I'm not sure. It's my Vampires of the Masquerade 2. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw somebody. Yeah, Vampire yeah. Vampires of the Masquerade, if you haven't played it, it's a game that you just need to play. Like, it's the, if it was out of all the vamp, even the new Vampire, that game was good, but Vampire of the Masquerade crushed it. It's about that, that Vampire where he's a doctor? Yeah. I still haven't played that one yet. That game was I got, I got it too. Great. I got it on Xbox. That I game was it. fantastic. I played like the first, like, 20 minutes of it when he was in the trash and Garbage woke up and killed his sister and yeah, that you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Great game. I want to play that. So you said Legacy of Kane. Legacy of Kane for me because I got every Legacy of Kane. Blood Omen, Blood Omen 2, Soul Reaver, Soul Reaver 2, Defiance. I'm a huge fan of Raziel and Kane. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Defiance 2 left off. You know, we've been waiting for what, 15 years for this, get an end into that. And, you, you know, know hopefully it will work. In 15 years, they'll make a game on like fucking Kingdom Hearts. Oh, they, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll stop. Okay, we'll go back. Kingdom Hearts in a minute. But the two games for me Legacy of Kane and. One of the most underrated, another underrated shooter, was very underrated last gen, Resistance. It's a story pretty much yep. finishing Resistance with Resistance 3, but I liked the game. I thought it was a pretty good series, a pretty good take on it, the Chimera. And you, I think they should you know what I mean? I mean, it was a great game. game. It was it'd be it'd nice to see it resurrected, though. It'd be nice to see it resurrected. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice, but if they just, just have them remaster it or something. I mean, a remaster was a remaster fine. fine. A remaster was fine, but for me, it's like, okay, that's the thing with some of these games. Like, okay, prime example. You ever seen the movie Pacific Rim? Where at the end of the movie, they blew up the breach, but what stopped them from coming back again? You only blew up one hole, and they came back again with this stupid ass Power Rangers version of Pacific Rim. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So the same thing could be said about Resistance. You know, they closed the breach at the end of the game, they stopped them from coming, but you know, they can always come back. You know, but I would like to see that right. game resurrected. So for me, you know what I'm saying? See a new take on it in this gen, you know, because that game came out. That was the first game. Matter of fact, you and your woman, remember that we went to Algonquin, we, we, me, you, and Queen. Bought me the PS3 and Resistance was the first game I had when I came over. Yeah, yeah. You, know you got it on Vita too, right? You I got, got it on Vita too. They yeah. made, as a matter of fact, going back on that, the same people who made Days Gone, they made Siphon Filter series yeah. and they made Resistance Retribution on yeah. the Vita. They made Uncharted Go to the Bitch too, right? They did. Yes, they yeah. did. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they they got, they got a little credibility behind Uncharted. Their name. I want Uncharted to come back too. Long live the Vita. <laughs> PS Vita was ahead of its time. Long live the Vita. Yeah. What about you, man? What series would you like to see come back? Uh, Two games. Two games. One would be uh, a racing game, and that's going to be Split Second. It was made, Ooh, it was published by Disney. Yeah, Split yeah, Second, man. Yeah, if you haven't yeah, played yeah, Split yeah, Second, yeah. that game was like no yeah. other, man. That joint is fire. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 Oh man, I forgot about but that. But that's Split that. Second, yeah, though, yeah. man. You like you're on a game show, wrecking other people. That game was fire. So I would love to see a Split Second two. And the other game I would love to see uh, rejump would probably be uh, I would like to see a new Sleeping Dogs. That yeah, Sleeping, Sleeping Dogs. dogs uh, True, Sleeping Dogs. Was it, came from, it came from True Crime. Yeah, True Crime. Yeah, that, 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 that era. LA, that True Crime, New York. Yes, exactly. You know what I'm saying so. Bring dogs. back one of those games. That, that, those would be those would be my two games. Yeah. If I had and you know, if people still be playing uh, Split Second on Xbox Three, like yes. Xbox One. Yes. Um, yes. It's backwards compatible on Xbox. One, so you still, I still can find a room where people are racing on the game. Yeah. All these years, you know, some games got longevity. You know, some some games you can still find people playing them. You might find two people playing them online, but long servers up. They still somebody playing. Somebody playing it. You never know. You they know what I'm saying? So it, it was a fun game. It was a good game. When the tower comes down, hit the B button. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That game was yeah. so hot. Man. Yeah, it was yeah. dope. Yeah. It was a good racing game. So to see that remastered, I know they recently put it back on the uh, Xbox Game Pass, but. To see that game remastered, man, I think it'd be pretty dope. Yeah, that'd, that'd, be, that'd be pretty good. What about you? What's, what's your two games? Wait, you don't think you said Split and Cell? Oh, Split and Cell and... Uh, uh, shit. Um, Split and Cell and... It really... 
It's a, mainly Splinter Cell has been my <laughs> that go-to, go to, my huh? go-to game. Okay. And I was gonna like if if Vampire's Masquerade wasn't coming out, it like coming out with the next one, it would be that too. But since it is, it's kind of like. Well, you mentioned yeah. Twisted Metal, which was a staple Twist, of the PS Twisted PS One. You know what I'm saying? Can we get a new Twisted Metal? You know what I'm saying? Twisted, a good, a good, or a good Twisted Metal. <laughs> Correct. The, Twisted, the last one was. Kind of I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? Every, you know, it's, that's just some things about games that you should leave alone. Especially when it came to the story mode with Twisted Metal. You know, everybody, like, you know, it gives you a reason to keep playing, it gives you a reason to keep playing stupid, stupid laptop. It gives, it gives you a reason to keep playing a game and keep the game on jiffy because, you know, when you play Twisted Metal 1, you play through with every character, you get their ending. 2, 3, but when, tw- when the one from 2012 came out, you only focus on three characters. Mr. Grimm, the dreadlock dude with a white face, Sweet Tooth, of course, and Dollface. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, but it should focused on it would have focused on. Yeah, no, right. Oh, uh, Dark Tooth. Yeah, it was another two Dark Tooth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> but it just—it's been a while since we had a good. I think the last car combat game came out was Hardware Rivals on PS4 and whatever. I just—I I got down for free on PS Plus. Okay, back in the y'all got Rocket League. <laughs> I mean, well, that's about as close as you're going to get up with yeah. sports well, right now. Yeah. About sports based, but as far as pure Rocket, car combat Rocket game. League is, was supposed to make it big in the eSports back two years ago, but it kind of had a fall. Correct. It kind of it didn't really stick. You it's only, it's you pretty fun, though. It's fun. It's fun. We had a lot of fun. fun we did. We did. We just played a lot. <laughs> but just, you can only go so far right. when it comes to some, you know, certain modes. So like you got to kind of mix up the game, perhaps a few more modes and stuff like that. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. Well, what's going on right now, Ken, in the current world of gaming news? What you got? Titanfall got pushed back. Titanfall 3? I'm yeah. cool with that. Oh, no, man. I'm, I'm okay with that. Kind of a little Titanfall 3 was pushed back for a, I would say, a good reason. Because everybody knows Apex Legends came out, and it was a surprise. It was a, one, it was a surprise release, and the respawn didn't think it was going to do as good. No, as they, they, remember it was at work? And he was yeah. like, hey, man, you know, you see, I think you sent me the message. said, you know this game, Apex? I'm like, no, nah, I looked at it. Okay, you know, that was on PS3. On, yeah. uh, lo- locally, we played it that night. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't realize it was going to be that big of a hit, so they was like, oh, snap. Well, since it did so good, we're going to focus on Apex. And that pushed back Titanfall's development because Titanfall's team wasn't really that big. Correct. So it's just like, all right, so they're pushing back development to focus more on Titanfall. How y'all feel about that? I'm cool with that. Because because the, 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 Apex the, Apex that. No, oh, Apex? Yeah, they're focusing, they're focusing on Apex. Well, Apex is fun. It's cool, but the numbers for Apex have dropped oh, significantly <laughs> since the launch. Yeah. And I don't know if it has something to do with EA paying uh, guys like Ninja and a lot of other those big streamers. They was paying those guys. And they're paying a lot. Yeah, they was paying them. So the, the, the numbers were very high. But if you were to go look on Twitch right now and you look at those numbers, Fortnite versus... Uh, Apex Legends and Fortnite numbers is like seventy something thousand, whereas Apex Legends is like 30,000 30, or something. I mean, Fortnite's a juggernaut. It's a beast. You know what I'm saying? The game has it's, it's cartoony. The kids love it. It's real big thanks to YouTubers, Ninja, and all these guys. But the thing about Apex for me is that the game. I like the Apex gameplay more, but you don't only do so much with one map. You got you got to push push another map out. Right. It's yeah, updates, yeah, bro. Yeah, you gotta do no updates. They got to keep them updates. You got you got to call season one that they got. It, it wasn't all of that. You look at look at Fortnite. Fortnite. What what what, 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 what's, like, what's, what's, what came out today? What's coming out? Season nine. No, yeah. no, no I'm saying movie wise. Oh, yeah, business in game. Yeah. You know Fortnite already has an update where you okay, you know you can play with. But that's but that's licensing things. They gotta get permission from Marvel. You know what I'm saying? They keep those updates coming. You know what I'm saying? They keep coming. It's a young it's a young game. The thing is the thing is that um the one one a lot of developers need to understand when they release these battle royale games. Like, everybody's on this Battle Royale kick. I think this Battle Royale kick is going to be going for another two, three years. But, um, you got to, you got to, like... Yeah, yeah you. <laughs> <laughs> you. You, 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 you got uh, to, like, keep, keep, keep going with it. It's like, consider a Battle Royale game as an MMO on drugs. Because in an MMO, you go one direction, and that's all you're going. Battle Royale, you go, you die, you start back at the start. So if you keep doing the same thing and there's nothing new to hit, you're gonna this person is gonna be like fucking just turn around and quit. So if and that's the one thing about if they they gotta you gotta keep up on it. Like Fortnite, they just be they just be throwing out whatever. They just be like forget it. The game <laughs> is literally random. So it's just like go 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 go. <laughs> they just throw out like random stuff, dances, 
costumes, random see, things. See, it, keep, it keeps up, but it, it keeps up with the time yeah. and the current yeah. pop culture. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what's happening with PUBG. Yeah. PUBG like was was a really fantastic game, and then they re- they released a new map, and everybody was like, "Oh, snap, new map!" I'm like, "Yeah, a new map, same shit." Gotta so keep, gotta keep it diverse. So, you can't just focus on the you know yeah, one so, thing for so long. So unless yeah. I'm like Fortnite is going to continue, and yeah, and the worst part is. The worst part about it all is that Fortnite is still in beta, guys. <laughs> it's still in beta. Well, you know what? Well, I got Fortnite when it first came out. <laughs> when it was all build a defense and just protect the, 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 the enemies. Yeah. And when they came up with the battle royale, it just took off. You got to realize, too, that Epic team is so big. And yeah. now they've made so much money. They can do whatever they want to do. Yeah, I know. This is, the game is like printing money. Bro. I'm like, I'm wondering when they're going to release the game, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> but if you're making upwards to $200 million yeah, a right. month. I understand that. <laughs> but release, it's just like, like, hey, guys, just release me. Hey, we're done. All right. Yeah, let's go. It's just like Apex. I'm not Apex. No, Apex. Not Apex Legends. Apex. The game with the dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that, game, that game was in early access for about, about nine years. I was like, I would say. <laughs> eight, eight, nine. I'm, I'm just throwing some exaggerated number. It was out for a while. Then they finally released it. It's like, yeah, the game's released now. People were just like, and that's when the ratings just dropped down to nothing because they didn't do anything. Right. So I was just like, yo, come on now. Well, I'm a huge Titanfall fan, as you all know. So. I'm looking forward to Titan, another Titanfall. They did land it. Hopefully they delay it. They can do make some better things with it. You know, if you play part one, part two, great game. You know what I'm saying? Gameplay is tight. Wall running, jumping on Titans. You know what I'm saying? Running off. I mean, the moment we don't have it, screaming into the microphone because we don't jump off and grab the battery and jump into your Titan. Game is great. Gameplay is tight. You know what I'm saying? Apex has tight Thanks. gameplay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I think it's, it's one of the few shooters that really, really hold my interest. You know, but... Yeah, it is it's, it's a good game. If they land it for support Apex, great. Yeah, it's fine. They need to make some they need money anyway. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, they need to get paid. It's business. Gaming is big. Gaming is big business. Go on to the days where you get a game comes out on a cartridge, eighty bucks. You know what I'm saying? That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all you get. Now it's, it's a service now. So the people got to get paid. Developers got to get paid. It costs money to maintain servers and people and developers, and they put their time and their blood into it. So I can understand that. Some people get upset. <laughs> But whatever, you know what I'm saying? You got a product there. I mean, I mean, how many pairs of Nike shoes you gonna buy? You know what I'm saying? Keep bringing out more Nike shoes, you gonna keep buying them, right? So you okay? They bring out a game. They pay. I mean, okay, Dragon Ball Fighters. They keep bringing out updates to the game. And the game is great. And the game keep bringing out. Release my boy Kid Goku. Yeah, and that's Super Saiyan Four. Yes, I saw. Yeah, even I was like, first I was like. And we was at work. I first, I first, I'm like, man, another Goku. But when I saw him trying Super Saiyan Four, I was like. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all I need to see. You know what I'm saying? So that it was hot. Even yeah. though to get that that in that um super that super with that Goku, your whole team has to be down. It's still cool that it's there. It's like it's like yo, Goku has to transform to his strongest form, his last resort. Correct. Because no, yeah. no GT came out. It didn't get a lot of love. Everybody didn't like it. But I personally like the Super Saiyan Four look of it. Goku and Vegeta. I thought it was pretty dope to me. Yeah, it really was. I like. I liked. It. I think it was a very underrated look. You know what I'm saying? But I, it's nice that Dragon Ball Fighters gave a little bit Easter egg and respect to GT. You know what I'm saying? By putting Super Kid Goku in it. You know what I'm saying? So That's dope. I thought that was pretty dope. You know, I'm, 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 I still I, I still ain't bought the, the season pass yet because <laughs> so, so many games. You know, so many games. <laughs> next month too. Huh? Kid Goku. Next month, Kid Goku comes out. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, they keep That's coming. Cats right. keep coming. You know what I'm saying? God. Hell. All right, next thing. Have y'all heard anything about the Borderlands 3 villains? No. Have no. you seen any of their look or anything like that? I'm talking about that. No. The, 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 the twins. Like, the twins. Well, they got. I'm going to show y'all real quick. Because out of all the Borderlands villains, they are literally the most cult like coldest looking ones like oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay they are yeah, the yeah, most yeah, coldest yeah. looking yeah. villains like, like yeah. that too. and i'm just like she reminds me for oh, Rihanna for, oh, so, for some reason i don't know the, why. Hair, the hairstyle yeah. <laughs> yeah. but yeah everybody's talking about like who are the villains who are they i don't know who they are i gotta read up on it and see who they are but for me i like the way they look like I, handsome jack was a great villain he was, he, funny, was, he was funny he was funny as heck but i think these villains are gonna bring a whole i think i think they're gonna bring a little dark atmosphere into it because they look looking fantastic <laughs> but um what was the other thing 
Persona 5 Royal. I don't know if any of y'all play. You play Persona 5? Yeah, I got Persona 5, but the Royal, I heard, is, that's not what everybody wanted, right? It's the new one, right? No, yeah, everybody wanted that one. Hello. I'm uh, talking about a different one, never mind. Nah, uh, yeah, Persona, Persona, what are you talking about? The Switch version? Persona, uh, Persona 5S? I think that's it. Yeah, Persona 5S was a, a little Switch version that I think they're, they're talking about. They're running on the Switch. But Persona 5 Royal is, if you ever played Persona 4 Golden, uh-huh. it's, it added, Persona 4 added an extra 15 hours to Persona 4. <laughs> so, so Persona 5, God, Persona 5 Royal, I, when I saw that, I lost my shit. I was like, oh boy, that's another 20, 15 hours of gameplay for me right there. Because, I mean, look, I, I understand you don't, you, you, you haven't played Persona 5, and um, you probably won't ever play it. It's I, I mean, I mean game, it's, it's a big game. Yeah, I'm from the same. I may get it someday, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's,
If you've never played, I've never like I said, you guys talk about Persona Five. I've never played Persona any Persona, okay, right. but I'm not gonna comment or say high. anything <laughs> about it. I won't. I won't. I won't make, make a YouTube video disrespecting Persona, talking about this, that, this, that, this, that of a game I've never played. If I haven't played it, I mean, you can watch the videos on it all day long. You can watch videos of Mortal Kombat all day long and say right. you don't like Mortal Kombat Eleven, but if you haven't played it, had the controller in your hand and played it. Then I don't think you should have no opinion on it. You shouldn't say anything about it. And that goes back to the thing about it is that you remember back in the PS2 days, oh, but PS3 days, okay? Demos. It goes back to that. Demos is key. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You put a game demo out, let a let person play a game, and if they like it, they'll buy it. But because I understand people don't want to spend their money on games. You know, you know, most gamers are younger kids, you know, not like us full. Disposable income having as mo yeah. I, I, uh, mofos, you know what I'm saying? So we can buy games pretty much on the on the on the regular, you know what I'm saying? So but some people, you know, they don't they can't do that. They gotta pick and choose their games, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, I mean uh, somebody might not want to spend fifty nine ninety nine on days gone, but okay, that's fine. You don't want to spend your money on it, but I don't think you should be commenting, going on channel and stuff and be like, this game suck, this game this, this game that, blah blah blah. But you never played it. So what you comment on the fuck you never played it? You must be talking about when that dude was talking about the vision too. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to speak ill of uh, certain YouTubers out there. You know what I'm saying? You're, Q, you already know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> for me, if you never play the game, you overall, if you haven't played the game, you should be making no, you should have no opinion. On it, period. You should not. You can have, you can have an opinion based on facts during your playing the game for yourself. Not on just on. Oh, I saw a YouTube channel. I saw. Uh, early beta access, or I saw something like that I didn't like, but that game is gonna be trash. Right. You know? Well, don't blame. Like for example, when um, I think uh, what game is coming out? Something came out. Oh, Star Wars: The Fallen Order. Oh, right. That that's coming out, but everybody's bashing it because it's EA. EA. But nah, 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 that actually calmed down. It calmed down when now. They really, when they first came, really when they first came, right right now, first came out, it was about EA. What they really bashing right now is that you just playing a, a, some random. Standardized what? human, not human, 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 human cabinet, human cabinet. That, so, that, is, that, is a, that is a thing also that's been coming yeah. too about you know diversifying characters. Yeah, they want who cares? Who cares? Who cares? You want to play aliens? Like I want to play alien. I, I, yo, they got like thousands of species on in Star Wars, and we all gonna get into some just some human base human. You know what I'm saying? You got different races. Human. You got the Iridonians. You got the Mandalores. Yeah, you got yeah. the Twilights. You got and they all so many Jedi's. races. You know, they can but as, long, as long as the game is good, as long as it has a good gameplay and a good narrative. Well, they said the game is gonna be long. Honestly, I think they, I, honestly, you know, what I think they just seen. I, I think they what nobody wants to say is just the fact that they seen the Fallen Order. They see. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. I'm not a racist man or prejudiced by any moment. Everybody sees a white character, human. And they freaking out. The only thing is the fact that it was human is because they see a white guy. Oh, there's another white guy in the video game. I don't care about that. Who cares? Yeah, who, I don't care about who cares about that. I don't care about that person. You know what I'm saying? If a game is good, it's good. It's good. It's yes, good. It's everybody be complaining about Dave Conn, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, some people, you get, I mean, like I said, Star Wars, but Star Wars has had a, even a big issue with, even with the movies. Some people think the movies are catered towards social justice and all this stuff. Like when The Force Awakens came out and everybody saw uh, FN was a black guy. He took off the helmet in the trailer, and people was freaking out. Oh, he got a black stormtrooper, blah blah blah. He was like, "Hey, get over it! I'm here." And once you watch the movie first before you make judgment, you know what I'm saying? The stormtrooper is huh? The stormtrooper is what remained from. Yeah, it, 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 when when yeah. you when you play when you watch the movie and when you read about the lore, you find out after the emperor died and the new order came in, they started kidnapping people to make them into stormtroopers. Mm -hmm. They can kidnap anybody to make them into a stormtrooper. Then there's had to be a person. White person, alien, whatever. It could be anybody's a storm. Right. It's, it's people. It's monkey. That, yeah, the monkey's a storm trooper. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's just a moot point. I, I think that's, me personally, I think that's just what they're thinking. Oh, it's a human character. He's white. Oh, whatever. Grow up. If you like a game, it's fun. You play it, enjoy it. Who cares? I don't care. You know that's true. So, whatever. You know? So, I'm, I'm looking forward to coming out because it's made by Respawn. You know, they make good games. You know, their gameplay is tight. I want to see the take on it. I hope it comes out pretty good. I hope it does well. It should. You know, they should root for it. You know what I'm saying? You can tell, you can tell certain developers that put care and love into their games. Yep. They develop. And Respawn is definitely one who, you know, you can tell they, 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 they take pride in their work. They don't just push out games. And I'm looking at you, Bungie. Destiny. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. God, but, man, you know, so. Man, looking at you, Bungie. Screw that, man. Because it was the ish. Halo 1, 2, 3, Halo Reach, ODST, 
But you know what though? Now, but it's, 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 a, it's a different Bungie now. Than but yeah, game. but now that Bungie isn't with uh, Activision. Activision anymore, I think that Destiny Three is gonna be that game that Destiny One should have been at launch. That Destiny Two should have been at launch. I think with Destiny Three launches, it's gonna be everything that fans have been wanting and longing for at launch. I, the, the thing I want about it is the story, the universe. Halo has an entire universe of narrative and story. I would like to see that with Bungie too. Who? What's the darkness? I know you mentioned in the last podcast about Dark Guardians. How that would work? That, how is that going to work? I want to see how that works. They, they, how they want to set it up? Yeah, is that they want it to uh, be like Planet Side? Planet Side. Planet Side. I am at <coughs> home. I'm not at work. Stop calling me. I'm not at work. Click. Thank you. <laughs> Quick edit. <laughs> I ain't nothing. I'm like I'm at home. Don't call me. I'm not at work. I ain't no work calls. <laughs> yeah, they, they they wanted they wanted to be like planet side, like you know, player versus player versus player and all that stuff. I guess or player versus player. I don't freaking know. Player versus economy versus player. PvP versus PvP. Yeah, yeah. 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 So they, 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 they the dark the dark zone. Yeah, they, they want they want um they want they since they're releasing the dark dark subclass subclasses for every. So like I guess when you choose a dark subclass, then you have a light that's gonna fight against each other. We talked about it last time how that's a bad idea in the first place because we know how people are. Yeah, but want to be bad guys. Be bad guys. So I'm just like, okay, go for it. But um, <laughs> I don't know if y'all played games like Knights of the Old Republic and Jedi Academy where you can use the the Sith power and got the cool powers. Yeah, right. You know, the Jedi got the shields and the reach level. The Sith's the ones got the force lightning, force, force, force choke and force and whatever. Force meteor, modern or chi whatever. You know, heaven concealed. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? The Sith got the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to take on when Destiny when Destiny comes out. So forgot what? forgot one game that I want to add on. What's that? The Dark the Dark Pictures anthology, the Man of Midan. The people who made uh, Until Dawn, oh, they made another that's game. That's gonna be dope. And Until Dawn, I love that game. I it's, played it's pretty it, good. I played it at least three times. It's pretty good. So, Until Dawn was a great game. I love story based games where you're if you mess up, you lose your character. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people that some of my friends specifically, there's a lot of people that just be like, oh, if I do this, this time I can just restart. Now I, I like games where you just be like, oh, if you do that, you're just screwed. That's yeah, like, permanent, you know, permanent. There's nothing to it. Yeah, he's not it coming makes, back. And, and, and it, it makes people like forces people to be like, okay, maybe maybe I shouldn't do anything stupid. Correct. Like you know, we go back to when we were talking about MMOs back in the days. You know, uh, that EverQuest back way back when. I don't know if any of y'all, it might seem like I'm old when I'm <laughs> with these people, but, <laughs> 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 but um, EverQuest, when you, you, would, you would say like you're about to hit your level mark, and you're about to level up in the game, and you die, that thing goes all the way back, and I'm done. Wow. So, yeah, I like games like that, because, you know, it forces you to, okay, maybe I should think before I do, do these something things. make decisions. There's, right. there, there's a lot of games nowadays where kids just do not have to think. They just go in and do stupid stuff. Correct. And then it's like, oh, there's no penalty to it. Yeah, yeah, you're playing this guild video game, there's already enough penalties in life, blah 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 blah. But it teaches you a life learned lesson that you should think before you do anything stupid, even yeah. in real life. Every action has a reaction. <laughs> yeah, Every so, choice has a consequence. So that's like, like, you, know, you know, so. Like one of my old games, City Heroes, back in the day. Oh, man, City Heroes. Okay. You, you get level 14. You're, you're good at, You're good until level 14. It's like real life. You're good until you're the age of 14, and then once that happens, once you hit 14, you're able to go to Juvenile, or Juvie, or whatever. Yeah. So, <laughs> but like, so you hit 14, you die, you get this thing called debt. And it's like a, you got a green bar and you get a red bar that fills up. Like my, I was playing with my friend back when, and he was like, "Man, if I die, I'm gonna be good, right?" I was like, "No, you don't want to die." He just hit four times. Like, you don't want to die. He died. He had a red bar. And he was like, "What's this red bar?" I was like, "Ooh, that's that dog." He was like, "What's that?" I was like, "Go kill something." He went to go kill something. The bar, his his experience bar didn't move, but his debt went down. He was like, "Wait, wait, 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 wait." I had to pay off my debt before I could level up. Or oh, I, was wow. like, I was like, "No, it'll go up slowly, but that debt is gonna take most of your experience." He was like. Oh no, I'm not dying again. I was like, see, stuff like that, like, that's a lesson learned. You right. don't wanna that's you don't wanna do that. That's, that's an interesting concept I would like to see in some of these modern games. Like if you lose, you lose level. You get yeah, you negative, you know what I'm saying? But well, some people it, it, it has to be balanced right, because if it's not done properly, it might turn people off to a game. There you go. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Because if it's too hard, it's, it's gonna be that, that's the problem with our generation. It's the problem with our new generation of games. A lot of we 
a lot of people, we hold hands for a lot hand of people. Hand yeah. There's a lot of hold- There's a, I'm still getting trailers and days gone. I've been playing for two hours. Why? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still stuck on Lady Lady Butterfly on Second Row. Oh, see, right. Second Row is one game that just, everybody, see, Dark Souls, when first Dark Souls first came out, it got a lot of hate because it was hard game mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And you know what the Dark Souls credit developer said? What's that? Get good. That's where the get good concept came from. So, so it was just like, so that is like, now everybody wants to play it because it, it's like, okay, we gotta, we gotta play it. It's hard, it's a hard game. It's different. If you die in the game, you lose all your souls. You can run back and get your souls, but if you die again, gone. Correct. Go your souls. I mean, like I said, just get some games appeal to other people. Some people don't want to get good. Some people want to have the handheld. Some people want to have an easy playthrough. Some people just want to play it and keep it moving to the next game. Some people are completionists. You got all these other kinds. Some people fighting yeah. games, some people RPGs. You got so many games. You want to do all that? You might as well go play on My Little Pony, bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Home of hand, you know what I'm saying? You can't Care can't bear, count that, count that, now. Bro. Five, four, three, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So like, like 80s, but, 80s baby, what can I do? But it's like you know, RPGs have taken a big, big hit by this concept also because you know, Kingdom Hearts three, main example. Everybody. I'm going to talk about this game because this game was being created for 15 years and came out to be trash. <laughs> so, Ugh. so how are you going to have Square Enix in the name of uh, uh, Square Enix in there and not have Cloud, anybody in there? You just have straight Disney, Goofy running around, Donald, <laughs> you get, uh, 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 Rick and Ralph, uh, yeah, you know, all those yeah. I'm just like, yo, where, I'm over here playing the game. I'm like, man, where's Sephiroth? And it's just like, Okay, well, same thing with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. No, no X-Men, X-Men, X-Men character. Because Marvel, they don't, because now, but, but now that Marvel's got Fox, we may see. That yeah, you might see. Things may change. Things may change. Yeah, so, but I, that ain't that Square Enix is I, I, I like a trash list correct. for the longest time, so I don't <laughs> think that's going to gonna change either way. Okay. But, so, but like I was saying, like a lot of RPGs like to hold people's hands. Like, it's like, oh, you, you know, you get beat by an enemy or something. I was like, oh, do you want to just... Retry the battle? Retry the battle, man. Let me, what? Retry the battle? Just, I thought I was going to get sent all the way back into the dungeon again and start having to run through the whole thing. Yeah, no, just retry the battle. Okay. okay. I, I get some of that. Hand <laughs> or something like that. I, I get that. Some of that needs to be changed around. You know, give give game a little bit of a challenge. You know what I'm saying? But again, just so many games coming out, man. Time Which, is a factor. Game, uh, time is not a factor for these little kids. Oh, well, yeah. When you're 15 years old, you go home from school, you can just, you know, Time is so yeah, play from three o'clock. And, and I and I came over here, and when I came over here and realized how little time I have <laughs> over here, I had a lot of time in the state. Time is not a factor, <laughs> so it's <laughs> so it's just like I'm just I'm like excuse me, bro. I got no time for that. All right, we're gonna end this podcast with some of our uh, final thoughts, our thoughts on the game. So I'm gonna start with you, Quinn. You ain't said nothing. You ain't putting nothing out in a minute. What you got? What's your thoughts on gaming, man? Uh, my thoughts on gaming right now, I think gaming is good. It's not that bad. I will say this, as far as developers goes, I know they got those uh, those investors on their backs. But I would say this. If the game is not finished, just don't put it out. Don't put it out. I don't <laughs> care what kind of pressure it is. If the game isn't finished, don't put it out. Because talking to you, Konami. <laughs> <laughs> you see what they did to the whole. Uh, uh, yeah, you see what they did to that. So if they, so that is, it's, it's a simple concept. It's like when you go to a restaurant and order some food. If it's not uncooked, you're not gonna give it to the customer. <laughs> so the same thing applies to games. You know, because nowadays with the internet and all, we can put out a half baked game and fix it later. So that's all I gotta say with that. Finish the game, didn't put it out. Only it's person, not finished. That's only person who, who still follows to him, follows the rule to the T is our boy who created God of War. Because he, he, then he's like, everybody's like, yo, you can release DLC? He's like, I'm not going to release no game that I'm not done with. That's what I think. And so, I know, that's my final thoughts. So is, is that your final thoughts? That's my final, my final thoughts. thoughts. My final thoughts on games? Look, look, if the game takes you 15 years, there better be some 15 years of work on that game. <laughs> because, because, you know, that, that, like, yo, like, I've been waiting for Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 3 since I was 13, dog. 13. I'm 28. This has been a long time. So I'm just like, 
Yeah. And that game, yeah. come, and that game comes out. And I'm playing it, and bro, the, the one thing, yo, I tell you not. I didn't even. I thought I sent you the message, but I didn't. When I was playing that game, I wanted to throw my remote at the TV. Like I was about to. Just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I spent sixty dollars on this, and then I know a bunch of people are gonna be like, the game was great, but look. I understand you're a fan of Kingdom Hearts, but there are some fans that can't even follow the dang story of the damn self. So don't even start with that. That right. I'm a fan of the game. So uh, <laughs> okay, fifteen years. <laughs> so, so we got don't put don't, don't don't put your meals out. They're not cooked. We got your game. Your game has been out since 1878. <laughs> Leave it alone. And for me, my question is: in this stupid laptop, I can't have the pressure to make it go. Okay. My thing is, if you never play the game, oh my God, you still don't mind. you have no opinion on it. Don't base your opinion based on a video. If you can go to your friend's house, go to arcade, go to GameStop, you know what I'm saying? You could even let you play the game at the kiosk and stuff like that. Play a game or do some research on the developer before you knock it. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, I've seen the reviews of Days Gone. You get give medium reviews, bugs this, bugs that, but... I'm not looking at current gaming sites and YouTubers when it comes to my game and which games I like, especially single player games. Well, that's I, another, I look at the legacy of who created the game. That's that's another thing. You know what I'm saying? There are too many game, too many gamers nowadays that are just looking at bugs of games. I'm like, bro, there's a bug. There's a bug with everything. There's a bug with every game. There's a, people that people that review the games that say, hey, there, there's a bug with this game. That says they need to fix this. Yo, some some people actually need to fix themselves in general. So I'm like, look, like, hey, if the shoe fits, I'm like, hey, come on, like, just let the game go through. The bug will get fixed later. It's just like Mass Effect Andromeda. That game was beyond broken. We all, we all know about that. But they fixed it. <laughs> they fixed the hell out of that game. Yeah, yeah. So let the let the game breathe first. Before, of course, you know, most people that talk about games or give a review about games, about bugs and stuff, have never developed a game in their life. Yeah, or anything not, like it's that. Not, it's not easy, by it's the not, way. It's not easy. I've done it myself. It's very strenuous and it gets tiring. And especially when you lose your data because your computer crashes, you don't want to do it again. So, you know, it's, it's bugs and stuff is going to be there. It's all coding. Coding breaks. When you change... One thing, when you're at line 100, and then you change something in line 1,000, line 100 might get messed up. Correct. So that is just, that's just how coding works, and mm -hmm. that's how games work. So, hey, it's not easy to make a game. I give them, the game developers applaud on every game they create. Even if it's trash, yo, y'all put a lot of time into coding and all that stuff and everything. Good work on you. That's, that's good, good, good job, developers. We know you're doing the best you can. <laughs> So we're going to end that with, thank you for watching the podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to try to keep this going. Like, this is podcast number two, but time <laughs> is a factor. We work. We got full-time jobs. We work. You know what I'm saying? Full you know, I know, Craig. I know. I know. You know what I'm saying? So we do the best we can, but I hope you enjoy the podcast. More to come. Appreciate my man's Afro, my man's Derek coming out. You know what I'm saying? We, put, we, we, we appreciate you coming out. You know, you... We all good, you know what I'm saying? We all good. So I hope you watch it. Keep on playing. Game is purity. Keep on enjoying the game. Keep on fighting. Fighting games is the best genre. I don't care what you say. That's the best genre. How are you going to say it's the best genre? It's the best genre to me. That's my opinion. <laughs> and that's my opinion based on facts. If I play other genres. And another thing on top of that. Gaming does not bring violence. No, it doesn't. That's been, another, that's been a lot of on the news lately. Game damn violence, game that, game that. We're going to say that topic for the next podcast. Our game is violent. Remember that. That's going to be the next podcast. We can do this again sometime in the future. Gaming is purity. Peace.